Hi, I'm Brian Gracely, and we're back with another set of videos to talk about cloud computing from a whole bunch of different perspectives, uh, both the technology perspective and the business perspective. So uh, we're going to uh, run through a whole set of, of new videos. Um, we're going to start with sort of where we left off, gosh, it's been six, eight months. Uh, we're going to start off with a term that's been making its way around the industry just recently, uh, and that term is software-defined data center. And we're going to talk about it a little bit generically uh, as opposed to specifically maybe what VMware has been using as a, as a tagline. But let's talk about why people are talking about um, you know, software defined within the data center. What's going on? What's the trends that are driving this? So if we think about you know, kind of the, the typical stack, and obviously this isn't complete, but the typical stack of what uh, makes up what happens in the data center, you've got storage, which is a hardware component. You've got network, which is a hardware component for the most part. Servers, uh, virtualization, x86 virtualization. You've got management functionality and applications. Uh, somewhere in here, woven throughout here, is security. And then obviously you've got your applications that are running the business. Now, if we think about the trends that are going on in this industry, um, you know, storage is something that for the last few years is becoming more and more uh, driven around x86 hardware. Um, so that's something that's being driven as x86 today. It's still very much kind of a hardware software package, but the underlying guts are very much x86. Uh, the servers obviously have been x86 for a long time, and uh, it's pretty well recognized in the industry that the server technology is becoming commoditized. It is very, very consistent, you know, aside from some few nuances between different vendors. Um, you know, virtualization is driving a lot of that from a server perspective. I mean, more and more people are saying, uh, you know, virtual machines are the sort of de facto way you deploy applications. And so when we start looking at this stack, you've got, you know, multiple pieces of this that have moved towards more standardized hardware. And the intelligence that's driving how they operate has been slowly sort of moving upwards. Uh, it's being consumed up into the hypervisors. So we're seeing hypervisors be able to tell the storage stack what to do. We're seeing you know, parts of networking moving up into the server as virtualized software, as virtualized networking, or software-defined networking, if you will. And then obviously, you know, the management and the applications and so forth have always been software. So as we start looking at this trend, you start to see more and more of the components become software-driven. And the next thing that people start to say is, well, um, you know, could we think about this entire thing if we think about really the function that it's trying to provide, which is I want to be able to take an application, put it onto my infrastructure, and let's just say my infrastructure is a virtual machine. If I can take this entire construct, automate everything that's needed underneath it, all the functionality, whether it's the infrastructure, whether it's security, whether it's uh, policy, whether it's where it can move, what the performance looks like. If I can automate all of those things, which in a lot of cases people are able to do out on the public cloud today, whether it's a Amazon service, a Rackspace service, whatever that is, uh, a lot of enterprise customers are saying, if I could do that, that would make my life a lot simpler. That would start to get to a point where I could think about uh, I have an idea and I want to move very quickly to an action about doing that. Today, because a lot of these things are somewhat different, it's a little more challenging. It takes a longer amount of time. So the reason we start hearing this term software-defined data center is really it's about saying not so much, you know, can the technology do this, but really about how do I get to this point where the business says, I have a new idea, a new idea is going to require some sort of application, some sort of technology instantiation. That technology has to run on my infrastructure in the data center. And if all of it could be driven more consistently, i.e. driven by software across you know, somewhat standardized hardware, whatever that hardware might be, um, the, the, the belief is that uh, the business becomes much more agile. And as this becomes much more standardized, the ability to you know, better utilize the infrastructure, reduce some cost, uh, that, those, those factors start to work themselves out. So you know, what this begins to look like is you're still going to have storage. You're still going to have network physically. You're still going to have servers. But what ultimately is sort of happening is we're seeing more and more of that intelligence start to move up the stack. And if we think about this in sort of technical terms, really what we're getting at is this becomes the data plane where packets are moved, um, being able to leverage the hardware, the CPU, the memory in there to move that very, very quickly. And the control plane is moving up further in the stack so that I can drive policy, that I can drive uh, you know, application awareness, 
that I can drive mobility, and all of those things, and obviously all of this is, is operations, you know, I can separate my control plane from my data plane, and again, this is sort of moving intelligence up the stack, if you will, um, these start to become more standardized types of components. So that's really what we're getting at when we talk about software-defined data center. The problem is ultimately, I want to get to a point where the business says, I have an idea, I'd like to be able to deploy that idea faster into a set of applications, typically. If those uh, applications can be put together quickly, but the infrastructure below it takes a long time, then we've got this bottleneck. So we're really looking at how do we sort of uh, align the pace that business wants to move to the pace that I can get the underlying plumbing, infrastructure, whatever you want to call it, to move at a similar pace. And more importantly, I want to be able to operationally think about it consistently. I don't want to think about operationally, is that a storage problem? Operationally, is that a network problem? Operationally, is that a server issue? Um, you know, the software intelligence is starting to move up. We're seeing more and more of those things consumed in hypervisors and other software instantiated forms factors. And ultimately, what we get to is we get to the control sort of moving up being you know, much closer to sort of the business problem, the data plane still remaining in place. It's not as if those cables and those boxes go away. But what they're doing is they're focusing on moving packets, and the control and the intelligence sort of moves upstream. And again, it's all about trying to move as quickly as we can from that business problem down through the, the infrastructure and the plumbing to make it happen, and ultimately get to some business result. So um, you know, you'll hear a lot about software-defined data center in 2013 from a whole lot of different vendors. You'll hear it described a whole lot of different ways. Uh, but at the guts of it, this is really what's going on. And it's a macro level trend. It's not something that one vendor is driving or one open source project is driving. We've seen this, this movement for a long time. We've seen the underlying hardware platforms get faster and faster around standardized hardware. We've seen some of that functionality either now driven by APIs or it's being driven up into things like virtualization stacks. And we're seeing ultimately more and more businesses say, I've got to move faster. I want to take advantage of the, the investments I'm making in IT, but I ultimately need to move much, much faster. And so we're going to start seeing that business demand start to push very, very hard on IT and what it can do. So uh, take that uh, as sort of a high level way of thinking about this term software defined data center, um, thinking about you know, where some of the shifts are happening uh, at a macro layer and start to think about from your organization's perspective, you know, how might that impact how we do operations and how ultimately we can get from you know, this business need to you know, this business outcome much more quickly. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, one of a series of a number of things we're going to dive into the individual technology, software-defined networking, and so on and so forth. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful at a high level around software-defined data center. Thank you.